human brain is absolutely fascinating. For instance, here I have eight cards uh, that all seem relatively an or an unextraordinary, uh, but there is actually something very interesting about these eight cards. These eight cards I've chosen very specifically and put them in a very specific order. Um, I've also marked one of the cards. Uh, one of the cards has a marking, and you, you probably won't see it at first. Um, maybe it's a subtle sort of marking, but when you see it, it's uh, you realize it's actually not very subtle at all. It's actually quite obvious. Um, but I think your brain is able to actually pick up on some of those, those subtleties. Um, the way I've laid out the cards, I want you to choose a specific card, and I've marked one of those cards uh, that'll help you choose it. Uh, so right now, I just like you to think of one of those cards. And in case you think everybody always picks the, you know, thinks of the same card or something like that, I want you to feel free to choose your change your mind. Don't feel like you have to, but but you could if you want. So if you want to change your mind, you can do that now. Um, ultimately, they settle on, uh, you know, a single card. Let's say the Ace of Diamonds. That's pretty. Uh, common choice. I say, well, that's interesting you chose you chose that uh, that card in particular. Any reason you chose the eight ace over, you know, the eight of clubs or anything like that? Uh, and they say no. And I say, it's interesting because when you look at the cards, they're uh, obviously, oops, obviously all totally normal. But remember when I said I marked one of the cards? If you look carefully, if you look carefully at the ace, you should be able to see the marking, especially if I turn it over. The human brain is absolutely incredible. It's able to pick up on subtle things uh, that we can't even really fathom that our brain is able to pick up on. Um, sights and sounds, and in fact, everything that happens to you influences your decisions. For instance, here I've chosen eight cards, and I've chosen them very specifically. Uh, they're in a specific order, because I want you to choose one of those cards. In fact, I even uh, made a mark on one of those cards. Uh, I marked it because I think your brain is going to be able to pick up on, on that mark. Even though you may not be able to see it now, I think it'll be very obvious uh, once, you, once you are able to see it. So as you look through those eight cards, if you were just to think of one of those cards, which one kind of stands out to you? Say, they say the five of hearts. Well, interesting. Why did you say the five of hearts? Um, you know, any reason that stands out to you over the four of hearts or a different card? And they say, no. well, you know, I'm going to give you a chance to change your mind. In case you think everybody always picks, you know, the same card. Um, go ahead and ch change your mind if you want. Uh, but don't feel like you have to. Let's say they change their mind to the ace of diamonds. Are you sure? You're good with that. Great. Interesting, why, why did you choose the Ace of Diamonds of all the cards? And they say, for whatever reason they say. Um, it's interesting, remember I said uh, that I marked that card? Uh, this is actually the, the card that I marked. You may not be able to see it right away unless I turn the card over. 